The handstand push-up. This is one of the most difficult to learn calisthenic skills out there. It requires us to balance and push our entire body weight on just our hands. And as you know, our hands are not designed to be stood on. They're designed to be picking up a glass of water or to scroll down and click the subscribe button. Now, I've always thought that it would be impossible for me to learn the handstand push-up. But after learning the one-arm pull-up, the muscle-up, and the front lever, I quickly realized that whatever one man or woman can do, so can another. And considering there's thousands of other people out there that can do the handstand push-up that means that not only i can do it but so can you as well and i'm gonna prove that in this video on day one i made my way over to an open park and just try to do the handstand push-up without any research or guidance no <sighs> my wrists are definitely not liking handstands let's go five seconds Dude, why the fuck is this so hard? And I quickly realized my first issue. I can't even hold a handstand. And for the next hour, I attempted to hold one over and over, but had no luck. <sighs> yes, sir. No, okay. I knew I was going to need a lot of guidance for this, so I called a professional gymnastics coach named Daniel, who's helped me in my previous videos and asked for his help. If you're working on a handstand, I have a couple tips for that. You'll notice a lot of gymnasts, a lot of people that hold handstands for a long time, they don't just do flat, they do wide fingers and they have some slack in their knuckles here. I always think about pulling my belly button to my spine like this and it keeps my body straight. After giving me some handstand tips, Daniel also assisted me in my handstand so that I could find my balance point and get used to it. There you go. Good. So the point is, is do handstands throughout the day. Do them all the time so you get comfortable being upside down in a handstand. That's the only way to really master a handstand. I followed Daniel's advice and practiced my handstand any chance I had. At the gym, at home, or even next to a cliff. I was definitely starting to hold the handstand longer, but I felt like the strength of my hands was hindering my progress. So for the next week, I decided to focus on doing exercises to help strengthen my hands, such as fingertip push-ups and wall-assisted handstand push-ups. Now that I've increased the training for my wrists and hands, they are definitely pretty sore this next day. So unfortunately, it is going to take me longer to learn this because of the hand strengthening, but that's just how the human body is. You can't expect super fast results. It takes time to learn stuff. I'm excited, man. We are so close to getting this handstand and also the handstand push-up and it wasn't long till I could finally hold my handstand Progress, baby. Let's go. since practicing the handstand constantly was working for me that's what I continued to do at the gym at the store in the middle of the road it didn't matter where I was determined to learn this handstand push-up but to be honest, I was struggling quite a bit to do a single handstand push-up. I'm at the point where I can hold it consistently. I just need to be able to push myself back up and still be able to hold the handstand. I thought that maybe it was because I was doing the harder version, which is on my hands and not on parallettes like everyone else was doing. I'm super curious. I've never tried holding the handstand and doing a push-up with parallettes yet. But after trying it out on the parallettes, I realized it wasn't much easier. Since I was plateauing in my progress, I decided to do some extra research on YouTube to see what I could be missing. Alright, so what I've realized here, I've skipped over pretty much every single progression. Um, and that's probably why I haven't been able to do it yet. What I was taught by the gymnastics coach was how to hold a handstand, but not necessarily the progressions to do the handstand push-up. And the progressions I just learned right now from Chris Heria. You should be able to do 15 pike push-ups, which thankfully I have the strength to do so I don't have to worry about getting that progression down. The next one up from there is handstand push-ups against the wall with your stomach facing the wall and you have to be able to do 15 reps. I think the most I could do is about 10 to 12 in a row so I do have to work on my handstand push-ups against the wall. And then finally once I can do all those progressions I then have to work on negative handstand push-ups and hopefully after I get that down I should be able to do a full-on handstand push-up. I worked on wall assisted handstand push-ups quite a lot and I was certainly noticing an increase in strength. I was now very close to being able to to do one rep. I just couldn't hold my balance at the top of it. I knew this was just a matter of more practice, so that's what I continued to do over the next few weeks. My left eye, bro, feels weird. <laughs> it keeps watering. Believe you pulled that off. Whoa! Wow! I'm impressed that you were able to pull that off, Me and I could too. tell that you were struggling because you were shaking like a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why it's hard for you and you have to compromise form is because your flexibility is not very good. Oh. So where you lack flexibility, you're going to have to make up with in strength. Massive update, massive update. I attempted to do a handstand push-up, and I recorded it on my phone, and I did it for the first time ever. Oh my god, I just did the 
first one I've ever done. We all. First handstand push up on camera and actually held it at the top. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Woo! After achieving my first handstand push up, I was able to replicate it several times, but only for one rep. Anytime I would go for the second rep, I would just lose my balance. But I am going to continue to work on this, and if you compare where I was at from day zero to day 60, I've made some crazy progress. Now, I am on what, day 742 for trying to hit a million subscribers? So, honestly, it would be really awesome if you hit the subscribe button to help me complete my journey. Thank you.